I'm Caitlin Burcham. And I'm Carla McCormick. And it's finally the day we've all been waiting for from the day we got back from Christmas break. It's spring break 2014. And as we're all ex super excited to get a whole week and a day off from school, this week is in preparation for Easter Sunday. After 40 days of fasting, repentance, and Jesus' crucifixion on Good Friday, Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, Easter Sunday. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, so whoever may believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. And that's the reason why we celebrate Easter. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Remember we're in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, Father and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Sometimes Easter Sunday can be a busy day with visiting, meals, and travel. Our prayer when we wake and our calling to mind throughout the day can help us remember what we are truly thankful for. There is light in the midst of every darkness. New life, everlasting life is ours. Our journey to the front of renewal has helped us remember we have been placed with Jesus. Glory be to God in all things. Amen. In the, in the name, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Gorman, are you ready for the most excellent Friday ever? Because BGTV is scrambling at you in five, four, three, two, one. This could possibly be the best day ever. Happy Friday, Friday Bishop, Bishop Gorman. Gorman! I'm back! And I escaped Maddie's basement. It's Friday, April 11, 2014, and it's National Submarine Day. But unless your name is Ringo Starr and your submarine happens to be yellow, you probably don't really care. And in case you're wondering, there's only four hours, three minutes, and 21 seconds until spring break officially begins. So in honor of that, let's see how other Christians around the world celebrate Easter. Easter is a holiday for all Christians, not just Catholics. All over the world, different branches of Christianity celebrate Easter in their own special ways. For example, in France, citizens gather together to make a 4,500 egg omelet. And in Poland, people drench each other with water to represent the cleansing of the soul. A branch of Christianity that is very close to Catholicism, the Eastern Orthodox faith, has a unique tradition that represents the sanctification of new life. Every Easter, or Pascha as the Orthodox call it, families gather together to break red-colored eggs. The eggs represent and venerate the birth of new life, which does not occur until after Jesus' resurrection. Their red color symbolizes the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. Everyone oh, gathers around a table and tries to break one another's egg. The person whose egg goes uncracked receives good luck for the rest of the year. Oh, darn it. Well... Nick Solomonovich wins! As Christians, Easter is the single most important event in our history. These traditions bring us closer together as a community under God and serve as reminders of our blessings both in this life and in the next. I'm Maddie Moffitt, reporting from BGTV. One of the most defining factors of Las Vegas is its unrelenting heat. For those of you who are staying here over the break, you have the perfect opportunity to embrace this never-ending heat wave. So here's what you can do over your staycation with Carlin McCormick in 30 seconds. On your staycation, practice your culinary skills. Fry an egg on the sidewalk or make s'mores with a tinfoil oven. You can also spend all of break sunbathing. Not only will you get a healthy amount of vitamin D, but you'll also receive a great new sunburn to prove to your friends that you had a red hot time over break. And while people may be relaxing on the clear beaches of the Caribbean, they are missing out on Lake Mead. So why travel to Paris, Greece, or New York when they are all located right on the strip? You can get years worth of vacations completed in just a few hours. But by far, the greatest thing about a staycation is the fact that you have control over your own air conditioning. So why not stay indoors and catch up on all the TV shows you missed during school? Don't forget, movie theaters are always cold and always open. I'm Carl McCormick, and that was Staycation in 30 Seconds. I ate a fried egg off the sidewalk once. 
I'm pretty sure that was a used tissue. It's International Guitar Month, and what better way to celebrate than congratulating the newest Guitar Jam members? One additional act will be added after callbacks today. Rock on, everyone. Do you like quirky, romantic comedies? Well, that's too bad. As we mentioned last week, Maddie Moffat and Janice Sasson recently put together a short film titled Sunday Best. Today, we're going to air their five-minute work of art, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, God. Actually, is there something more casual I can call you? I mean, no offense, but this whole prayer thing is very weird to me. I mean, I, I, I tell you this just for the sake of your well-being. But listen, I, I don't mean to be cliché. But you've never actually given me a straight answer to this question. And, you know, I know you're, you're God. Point blank isn't really your forte. But in all seriousness, what is love? Everyone in my life, no one really seems to know what it is. And frankly, that, that kind of scares me. I mean, you created it, right? So I figured I'd better ask you. A lot of times, love is depicted as this emotional roller coaster that will ultimately lead to someone getting whiplash. Ounce, non -fat, no foam, no water, six pump, extra hot chai tea latte, please. Uh, you know how I feel about the 16 ounce, non-fat, no foam, no water, six pump, extra hot chai tea latte. That used to be Jennifer's favorite drink. <laughs> well, I know Jennifer! <laughs> But like, to some people, you just hold up a silver platter and say, Do you look emotionally stable? Want to share your life with someone? Thanks, God. You're welcome. You have a good day. I'll try to. I guess what I'm trying to ask is, which of these do you have in store for me? Or will I be able to love it all? I feel like you find all this hilarious. But I'm 17 years old, and the possibility of becoming that creepy old guy that feeds birds on park benches seems to be looming on the horizon. I watch these movies, and I see how beautiful love can be. And I get this stupid, cheerful little feeling inside, like the Hallmark Channel took a dump on my soul. But then, all of a sudden, I'm crying because I feel like you inspire people to make those movies just to tick people off. The capacity to love is a great burden to bear, especially when you're unsure of how to share it. My friends tell me I shouldn't read into it so much and that I should just take what I can get, but everything inside me tells me that that's so wrong. Why should I have to settle for mediocrity when love is supposed to be one of a kind? I hope that doesn't sound selfish. I didn't mean for it to come out that way. It's just that I need to know if I should keep searching. I hear you're notorious for waiting. And clearly I'm not. So, a sign would be nice. 
Would you like to get some coffee with me sometime? Maybe. Sure. Really? Yeah. But seriously? Yeah. What? When are you free? Uh, seven. Can I pick up that? Sure. Sounds great. Yeah. to see how our spring sports heated up this week with Kelton Sorensen. What's going on, Kelton? Not much. Just trying to get through the day. Good. Spring break coming up. Yeah. But until then, spring sports are in full swing. As the Gale softball team took on uh, Desert Oasis on a wet, hot Wednesday afternoon, yeah. Shelby Estacado singled into right field, scoring two. Dayton Yingling took the mound after the second inning, striking out six batters in five innings. As the ladies headed into the bottom of the sixth, they were losing seven to five. They scored four runs and a big comeback to come away with the victory nine to eight and have an overall record of 15 to two. The men's baseball team has been knocking it out of the park. Cole Chris Marzik hits a single and is leading the team in home runs with five. Jack Little continues to pitch at a high level, striking out his opponents. Then number 16, Michael Blasco hits a double. Then the third baseman connects with Nick Gates for a great defensive play. And lastly, Nick Gates tosses the ball to Jack Little to get a ground out for the Gales. The final score was 12 to five. The Lady Gales lacrosse team won both of their games this week against Centennial and Palo, while the men's lacrosse team beat Liberty 16 to six on Tuesday. Men's and women's track will be competing this afternoon in Boulder City and lastly, the men's and women's swim team defeated Cimarron on Tuesday. Congratulations to all of our spring sports and continue to strive for excellence as expected here being a part of the G. I'm Kelton Sorensen. Back to you, ladies. Thanks, Kelton. Well, since BGTV is done for the day, you can all go home. We would all like to wish you a safe and blessed Easter. Enjoy your week and a day off. I'm Caitlin Bertram. And next time, could someone get me some coffee? <laughs> And, and this, this is, is BGTV. BGTV.